Marry me. It's Violet here. Today I'm in a beautiful park in my neighborhood, and over here I'm surrounded by a eucalyptus tree. And uh, what I want to talk about is, um, yes, look, my hair is purple. <laughs> anyway, uh, what I really want to talk about is uh, pagan parenting. Yes, I am a mother of three sons, and I am a Wiccan practitioner. And um, for me, I allow my children to uh, experience their own spirituality. You know, I'm not going to tell them what to believe or how to believe. However, I do have family Sabbaths. Um, we do celebrate Christmas like, you know, anybody else, only we have ritual as well, you know, on Yule. So uh, we celebrate Yule, and of course, you know, I'm not going to deny my kids' presents and stuff like that. Um, as far as my own practices go, um, I've had to learn to be comfortable around children. Like sometimes, you know, they might walk in on me during ritual. And instead of getting upset and mad and frustrated and all those things, what I do is, you know, I, I you know, however, they're children. They might be dissipating my circle if they walk into it. However, they're my children. And, you know, yeah, sometimes. Really yeah. And so, you know, I. I let them sometimes bubble around my cauldron, you know, and they feel magic, especially when I like the black charcoal disc. They love it because it sparkles and, you know, and I'll put it on top of my ca cauldron because I have like a screen there. And, you know, that's where I cast cells sometimes, my herbal cells and stuff, and, you know, they get a kick out of it. They like to sit there and do this while it's sparkling and so, you know, but as far as, you know, Robert, my five-year-old, now, um, there's a park that sometimes we go to on Sundays. They give, they give out bags of food. They give out clothing. And it is a Christian organization. And um, they give the kids Bible lessons in the park. And, um, you know, it's something fun for the kids to do. And it, it's something that I go to. And, heck, you know, the kids love the snacks. We eat there, and, you know, we fellowship. And I, I don't hide my religion. I, I I wear my pentacle. and I get judged sometimes, but oh well. You know, I'm a good mom. I know I'm a good mom. You know, and so, uh, you know, I know they they probably think, you know, I'm leading my children to hell. The Christian version of hell, even. And um, I just kind of let that go over my head. You know, and yeah, I, I do sometimes feel like I'm surrounded by a bunch of scowls. They're scowling at me. But, um, you know, then again, I just let that go over my head, too. Okay, now Robert, on Sundays, when he's in the park, especially when he wants to get a prize, because they get prizes, they participate in little games and stuff, and they get prizes, and, you know, I'll, I'll ask him. I'll say, Robert, are you a pagan or are you a Christian? And Robert, he'll say, well, I'm a Christian, Mom. And I'll be, okay then, you know, however. If he wants to be a Christian, that's fine. If he wants to say he's a Christian, that's fine. Rebel, I'll ask him, you know, are you pagan or are you a Christian? And Rebel, he says, I'm a pagan, Mom. So, um, I guess Robert would be considered my little uh, Christian Wiccan. <laughs> however, you know, I let them discover for themselves. I'm not going to stand there and shove Christianity or Wiccan religious practices. I'm not going to shove that down their throat, you know. They're like, hey, Mom, you know, can I watch you do your full moon? Sure. I let them in my room. They're my kids. Why not, you know? And, um, yeah, I do, uh, I do family Sabbath, and my husband, he participates and my eldest son John which is 21 he participates and you know it's live and let live it's a you family know? thing yeah and as far as spirituality goes you know I, I I feel like I was forced to be Christian and inside I never really felt Christian I never really felt Christian but I was forced you know you got to do this you got to 
you got to be this. And actually, that was very harmful for me. Especially thinking that, you know, hell was not a goddess. Hell is a horrible, horrible place of fire and torment and pain forever and ever. And I have to think this and be this or <coughs> I'm going there. That was a, that was awful. That was that was an that was traumatizing. So no, of course not. I don't want to traumatize my children, you know. And and when they ask me about hell, I um I whip up something off the internet about hell. I'll go to YouTube and pull up a video about hell as the goddess, and I'll show my children that this this is hell. Or I'll take them to a place where there's a on the internet a, the Temple of Pan. So check that out, the Temple of Pan in Israel, awesome place, also known as hell. So, um, yeah, and I show them that place on the internet too. And um, so that's all I want to say. Blessed be, I love you all, and thanks for all my subscribers out there who are watching my videos. Bless you all. Somebody.